If you get lower back pain when you're walking, then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Candy, and in this video, I'm going to give you five tips to relieve lower back pain when you're walking. Now, the first tip is just to lean forwards slightly. And I know that sounds counterintuitive because many people think it's good for their back to walk up tall, or they've even been told by their doctor or family members that you're starting to slouch slightly. And if you focus on standing up tall, it'll make your back feel better. But there's a reason why you see a lot of older people walking around leaned over on grocery carts. It's because it opens up the spaces between your joints and also takes pressure off of the nerve roots in your lower back. When you lean forwards into slight flexion, it opens up those spaces and makes walking more comfortable. Now I'm not saying walk slouched over like this, but just a very slight forward trunk lean can help make walking a little bit more comfortable, particularly if you have degenerative disc disease or spinal stenosis. Now, one thing that will help you to lean forwards just slightly is walking just a little bit faster. And when you walk faster, it forces you to walk with some purpose. And when you walk with purpose, your center of gravity has to get out in front of your feet in order to help you go faster. And so by walking a little bit faster, that helps you to lean forwards and takes pressure off the nerve roots in your lower back. Now, when you walk faster, you don't want to increase your stride length. You want to do it by taking shorter, quicker steps. Because if you increase your stride length and you have tight hip flexors, that actually pulls you into more spinal extension. So the third tip is that when you're walking faster, take shorter, quicker steps as opposed to long stride lengths. The next tip is to focus on pushing off of your toes of the rear foot rather than pulling forwards with your heels. When you push off your toes, that activates your glute muscles which are often weak in people with lower back pain. Conversely, when you pull forwards with your heels, that uses more of your hamstrings. It also puts your sciatic nerve on just a little bit of tension when you hit in a forward striked position like that. So the fourth tip is to push off of the toes of the rear foot using a rear wheel drive rather than pulling forwards with the front foot using a front wheel drive. Now the final tip is to walk on a slight incline. When you're walking on an incline, it forces you to lean your body forwards, which again opens up the spaces in your lower back where the nerves come out and takes some pressure off the facet joints in your lower back. Now I've got another video all about the benefits of walking on an incline treadmill, particularly for people with spinal stenosis and knee arthritis. And you can check out that video over here. But before you go, if you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you can get notified of our future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.